For this lesson, we will cover the hallway pass system at Prairie Ridge and what safe, respectful, and responsible behavior looks like in the restrooms. This will be new information for some and review for others. This week, you will be receiving your hall pass from your advisory teacher. This is an example of our hallway pass. Note at the top, you will be writing your name and your team in pen. Then there are four columns, the destination that you are requesting to go to, the date, the time that you are leaving the classroom, and the time that you arrive back. Um, the initials are for your teacher, not for you, to sign your pass. The initialing just tells us that they approved or okayed um, your request to leave the classroom. So this is an example of a student asking to leave study hall to go to the library. So the student wrote library and put the date as August 30th, 2021, and the time that they're requesting to leave is one o'clock. The study hall teacher signed and initialed that one o'clock request. Then the student has the librarian fill out when he arrived in the library. So he left the classroom at one o'clock, he arrived in the library at 102, and the librarian initialed that he arrived. When he is done in the library, he is going to fill out that he is going back to study hall. He will put the date, he'll put the time that he's leaving the library, and the librarian will sign that. And then when he gets back into the classroom, he will write the time that he got back to the classroom and the study hall uh, teacher will sign an initial VAT. An example of maybe going to the restroom would be writing restroom, the date, the time that you're leaving to go to the restroom with your teacher's initials, and the time that you return to the classroom with your teacher's initials. So why? Why do we have a hallway pass system? The purpose of our hallway pass system is for safety and accountability. We need to know where students are at at all times and to ensure that students are going where they say they are going. This especially comes in handy during a fire or tornado drill or an actual emergency. Here is an example of outside of our restrooms. Outside of every restroom is a clear container where you will pick, place your hall pass while you are using the restroom. This helps keep your pass clean and dry. When you are finished using the restroom, you will simply take your pass out of the container and head back to your class. I also want to highlight how this system keeps students safe. Let's say that there is an emergency like a fire. As we are evacuating the building, any passes in the clear containers will be a signal to adults to check the restrooms and ensure that all students have exited the building. If there is a student in the restroom, the adult, adult will be able to get them out of the building and reconnected with their classmates. Overall, please be responsible with your pass and go where you say you are going. Anytime you leave, you should go directly to your destination and then directly back. Here are some what if questions. What if I lost my hall pass or it ripped? Um, you can get a new hall pass in the main office. We will give you a new one if you lost it or if you ripped it. Um, what if you accidentally took another student's hall pass or you find another student's hall pass? If you know that student, you can obviously just give it right back to them. If you do not, please drop it off in the main office and we always deliver student items um, when they have names on them. And the last one is, if what if all of the spaces are filled on my hall pass? We will give you a new hall pass. However, um, we also wanna highlight the importance of not overusing your hall pass. So if you overuse your hall pass, um, you may lose the ability to uh, leave the classroom as frequently as you have been. The last thing that we're going to cover is restroom expectations. Um, there are different ways to be safe, respectful, and responsible in the restroom. And I know this sounds really silly to talk about, but it is an area that we want to make sure um, students are using appropriately. Um, so being safe in the restroom, please use restrooms at expected times. A really great time to use the restroom is during your four minute passing period. Um, if you don't have time to go during the re to the restroom during passing period, um, you just need to ask and use your hall pass to uh, leave the classroom. Please be aware of your surroundings and report any problems to an adult. Next is being respectful. Um, be aware of others and their privacy, so please be patient um, and clean up after yourself. Um, our restrooms are a part of our building and we need to take pride in keeping our area clean and not making a mess or um, purposely or even on accident. So if you accidentally drop the paper towel you know, on the floor as you're leaving, pick it up and put it in the trash. And we do not purposely cause messes in the restrooms. The last one is just being responsible. So please be timely. Don't sit on the toilet on your phone for a long time. That's just an example of not being timely. We should be getting in the bathroom and out of the bathroom. The last one is make sure you're flushing the toilet and wash your hands with soap and water. 
Speaking of phones, I want to make sure to highlight to all students that phones are not allowed in the restrooms. There are signs in each restroom that say that phones are not allowed in the restrooms to be used or to be um, recording. So please keep that in mind if you are using your phone in the restroom that we will be following up on that just because it is a uh, sign that we have and it's actually a law that phones are not used in the restrooms or the locker rooms. That concludes our lesson over the hall pass system in the restroom. Right now I'm going to give teachers an opportunity to highlight any important information from that and answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.